thousands of children die every year from mitochondrial disease, yet there is no cure and no reliable diagnosis. The David P. Campbell Foundation for Paediatric Mitochondrial Disease Research is committed to raising awareness, funding research with the goal of finding a cure. We funded the nation's first clinical fellowship in mitochondrial medicine. Dr. Mary Hall Willis was our first fellow. In this interview, Dr. Willis talks about mitochondrial disease and her achievements during her two-year fellowship. Estimates are, and they're probably conservative estimates, is it's as common as one in 5,000 people will be affected in their lifetime. In general, when we think about mitochondrial disease, it's uh, people who have a defect in energy metabolism. So their mitochondria don't work, so they don't have enough energy. Well, there's a lot of uh, diseases that we either know or suspect mitochondria is playing a role. Some of the ones that most people have heard of, uh, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease probably has a mitochondrial role. And there are a number of cancers that the way that the cancer is successful is by jerry-rigging the mitochondria and taking over control of the mitochondria and the way it works. Most doctors have heard of mitochondrial disease, but I'd say the vast majority don't even know when to suspect it. Actually, it's a little bit scary if you think about it that there's not a time in your life when you're out of the range of mitochondrial disease. Um, you can present in your first day of life, you can actually present prenatally, or you can present when you're 80 years old. Some people can have uh, primarily muscle symptoms, some people can have primarily brain or neuro symptoms. I took care of patients, uh, I saw patients in clinic or in the hospital, I did consults on patients usually that were in the hospital, somebody had a question about them. I did uh, some research trying to develop new testing strategies for mitochondrial disease using platelets and um, I believe that research was fairly successful. I was able to develop an assay and I actually won a couple of awards uh, for the abstract presenting that, uh, that work. It would be helpful to the patients if there were more doctors who at least recognized what they were going through and understood what can be done uh, for patients with mitochondrial disease. The funding for mitochondrial disease research is definitely behind where it should be considering the number of people that are affected by mitochondrial disease. We need your help now to raise money to help fight this terrible disease. Please give generously.